you. Below the right eyebrow. Had to change jersey because he had blood on his. Dangerous pass by Crawford. Mateo Jack double teamed and foul. Team foul number six. So the next foul will the put Rainier Beach at the line. Dan Duval, Duvaller's first personal foul. Team foul number six. John Horton informing us that Rainier Beach has been told not to shoot the basketball. Ammons deflecting it out of bounds. I'm sure they have been told, however, to securely get the ball inbounds and then work the clock and we'll do what we have to do at the free throw line. And it'll be Ricky Frazier, the sophomore. And that's a good foul. That's a smart foul. You foul the rookie. Make him go to the line, 57% free throw shooter in this tournament. Good foul. That's only Mark Bigelow's first foul. Mark Bigelow and Jamal Crawford each only have one foul. Chris Jurgens and Scott Oskin in the lineup for the Bears. Osk returning. So quick glimpse of him. Great play shooting tonight. Ready to come back in the game. Frazier shooting one and one. One and one for Ricky Frazier, the sophomore. He's got a real strange rotation on his shot, but you know what? It doesn't matter if the ball goes in. Rainier Beach up two, 40 to 38. Beach up three. David King back in the lineup as you look at the Rainier Beach faithful. King replacing Frazier. So Frazier head to the bench after delivering in the clutch. Could he be the hero two nights in a row? Let's see if Olympia goes for the three. Swanson long the board with the rebound. Back out to Jurgens. Jurgens for three. Long. Ball inside, loose. Philippine coming out of the pack. Fouled in backcourt. Okay. What happened, in my opinion, there is those young men got caught up in the moment. You, all, all you have to do is you have to score. You don't necessarily have to shoot a three, but you got to get a good look. And if you get a two, you're still one down. You still got a chance, you know, you can foul, stop the clock. It's a good look. Back iron. Good timeout here. Olympia taking the timeout to allow Philip Heath to think about it. We'll take a break and come back with more. The Beach fans hoping to celebrate a state championship. Philip Heath correctly. Shooting one and one. His team up three. Rainier Beach up four. And unlike last night in the semifinal games, it's getting done at the line with the pressure on. Oscar the rebound. Four-point game. Jurgens. Osk for three. Short. Bigelow inside. Lays it in. Timeout Olympia. 4.8. Fox Sports Northwest. Heath gets it inbounds to King. He's fouled. 3.6 seconds. Matt DeBoard. I'll tell you what, you're not going to take the ball away from you. That was uh, Olympia's, I believe, last time out. I think Olympia may have one 20-second timeout. And I think Rainier Beach has a full. David King, a pretty good free throw shooter in the tournament coming into this game, hitting six out of eight. It's about 75%. He needs two to seal the deal. Now, here's the thing. Last night, it took Bigelow about six seconds to dribble the ball coast to coast for a lay-in. They don't have time to go coast to coast for a lay-in tonight should he miss the free throws. Well, you can actually go, get a shot up. You can go in under four seconds, but you can't go all the way. You're exactly right. Three point. Rainier Beach League. They don't want to go all the way now because they need the three pointer to tie it if King misses. I'll tell you what, he's cool as a cucumber. Ball game. And King with the steal. 